welcome to the Test Fabrics Laboratory. My name's Miranda, and I'm here to demonstrate some tests for color fastness. Color fastness is defined as the resistance of a material to change in any of its color characteristics, to transfer of its colorant to adjacent materials, or both as a result of the exposure of the material that might be encountered during storage, treatment, or display. The Crockmeter Test. The Crockmeter Test Method measures color fastness to rubbing. It is used on backing and repair fabrics to assess the color fastness to rubbing, how much color rubs off when the fabrics touch each other from friction and abrasion. A rubbing finger is the basis of the crack meter test. According to dye house lore told to me by my dad, the dyer, once the newly dyed fabric was processed and dried, took his finger and wrapped it in a clean white cotton fabric. And then he would rub this fabric against the newly dyed fabric to see if color would transfer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to make sure even pressure is applied for all your rubs, and that did show that some color was transferred onto my crock finger. Then the dyer would wet another piece of white cotton by dipping his finger with the cotton in the water, then rub it against the dyed fabric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. And as you can see, you don't want to use this fabric as a backing for your artifact. This is wet crocking. Now the crock meter rub test is an international standard and the crock meter machine standardizes the human finger pressure. This ensures that everybody who's doing a crock test is applying the same amount of pressure and there's no human variable in human finger anymore. To do the crock meter test, cut two specimens of the back backing fabric to be tested. Cut them two inches by five inches on the bias so that both warp and weft yarns are tested for color fastness evenly. Mount your test specimen and cover with the crock block. So here's our crock meter machine. It's our cotton fabric. Here is the specimen we would like to use as the backing. This is the crock meter machine. We're going to put our specimen here and lay it down and we're going to cover it with the crock block. That's called a crock block. Take a two inch by two inch square piece of white D-sized bleached cotton and clip it to the acrylic crock meter finger using a crock clip. And this little guy is a crock clip. Lower the finger onto the specimen and crank the handle rubbing the finger back and forth 10 times. Lift the finger, remove the cloth. This is your dry crocking. We are going to use distilled water to wet out the second two inch by two inch square of cotton test cloth. Then we will blot it out before conducting the wet te crocking test. We normally count in tens, 10 seconds in the water, 10 seconds on the blotting paper. 
Then you mount the white square and crank the lever 10 times. So there is our white fabric. We're going to put it in a petri dish and we're going to wet out the specimen and keep it in there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. Then we're going to remove it and we're going to lay it on a piece of blotting paper for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to put it onto our crock clip. So we'll bring the crock meter machine back. Next, we are going to use a new piece of, of two inch by five inch test specimen that you intend for use in backing. And we're going to put that on the crock meter machine and cover with the crock block. Next, we're going to lower the handle and we're going to rub it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as you can see, the wet crocking is quite poor. A lot of color is transferred once it's wet. We have a long history with the AATCC, and we are suppliers of all the test materials you need to conduct color fastness testing today. Thank you.